Hi! In this video, we will see how to create the 2D shop drawings of this project using one of the new features of Visual Art 2, the option to print the 3D model in vector output. From the section manager that we can open from here, let's dock it here, we can see the list of section lines in the model. We can add new sections from this icon, or we can activate the existing sections to the model, section it in real time. For example, this north longitudinal section. Remember that for the visual art objects, the section attributes are assigned by a style, but in case of Rhino job objects, such as this poly surface, the section attributes are assigned from the properties panel under the section attributes icon. So we can assign here a different hatch pattern for this group of poly surfaces. When we move to another viewport, for example, this one, we can use these buttons in the section manager to align the view to any selected section, for example, this north longitudinal section. So this one aligns the view to a section, basically activates the section, but in this case, the set section view to viewport button, makes the zoom stance according to the section length, and also changes the display mode into hidden one, which is the one required in order to print the view in vector output. So we could already print this view from the model space to vector output, but let's do it from the page layout. So we already have here a page layout with a couple of details and we can repeat the same process. We click inside the detail view, we select the section that we want to print, click on the set section view to viewport button, we select the detail to adjust the scale of this drawing under the properties of the detail. Let's put here one. 400 scale and this page is ready for printing so we run the print command we select in this case a PDF writer select vector output and click on print button give it a name and save the document. If we take a look at the 2D drawing result, we can see how this drawing has been printed in a good quality vector output. Of course, this quality will depend on the DPI output settings or the scale of the drawing. Now, let's do the same, but for the plan views. You know that from the level manager that we can open from here, we can show one level with its cut plane activated. We can do double click to show one level or another. So if we do the same from the page layout, we just click inside the detail, we select the level we want to display we click on the set plan view to viewport that will make a zoom extends but we can just zoom in now or select the detail and adjust its scale from the properties panel now we'll print this select the vector output click on the print button and save this with a name we can take a look at how this 2D drawing has been created and we see that it generates a good quality 
to the vector output. Finally, let's create a new page layout, but in this case we'll print a 3D view of, of the model. So we add a new, li new layout, we define the page settings, we click inside the detail, let's show this in perspective view, we change it into hidden display mode, which is the one required to print this in vector output, we zoom in at the desired point, and finally print this in vector output. Select print. And finally give it the name. We take a look at the output result and we can see a good quality vector output also for 3D views as well.